Hey guys, today we're working on World War I Bayonet Part 4. Let's do this. But first, I'm going to do a little bit of a shop cleanup because... It's a little bit messy. We've got the quillion on. We need to make the pommel and then the handle in this video. So, what we're going to do first is this part here. We're going to um, trace this onto this steel here. I'm not, it's just over a quarter inch. Um, so, I'm going to trace this. I've highlighted the part in black that I need to cut out. And then, I'm going to make two of them clamp them on, well, grind 45 degree angles on all sides except for this side, because that doesn't really need it, I don't think. Probably just do like a tack weld on that side because it'll be welded completely around. Um, and then once that is on each side, it will come out just about over a quarter inch and then there will be wood sandwiching. I'm thinking I'm gonna do walnut wood sandwiching here. Um, that will be in between the pommel parts and the guard. So let's trace it out and then cut out these pieces on my porta band. I have to fill all of that in with weld and then um, then I'll grind it all flush and it should look like one solid piece so let's get to welding. Alrighty, so I've got it all welded up and now it's time to grind it all flat. Okay, well, it just so happens that I have this piece of walnut right here that is almost exactly the right length. It's just too big and it's almost exactly the right thickness as well. So this should work pretty well, I think. Yeah.
Okay, so it has been a couple days. I got a bunch more files. Um, I got the heater on. Here's my existing file holder, which will not fit these. So I guess I'm just gonna like put them in here. Yeah, so let's get back to working on this bayonet. So, um, I'll switch the camera around so you can see. Um, so, these are the screw bolt things that will hold the handle on. I don't know where my wood pieces are, somewhere around here. Um, but anyways, they are pretty thick, and if I had them, um, I mean, look, they're thicker than the pommel by about an eighth of an inch on each side. So what I did is I took my portable bandsaw and cut each one down by about a quarter inch total. Maybe a little more, yeah. Almost actually a half inch, I guess. And now, they are the perfect size. Um, so this one goes right there, and then this one's a little bit smaller because it's smaller up here and it tapers, and that one's gonna go there. So I need to figure out a way to drill my holes so that there's two different sizes. There's the small size, and then it gets bigger. So let's do that. first look at what it actually is going to really look like. So now it's time to trim this wood.
There you have it, guys. It has been a literal year since I started making this, and now it is done. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next one. And we, next time we're gonna be finishing forging this sword of mine. So hopefully that doesn't also take a year. See you in the next one, bye.